Aaron Rodgers was recently on the uh, the Joe Rogan uh, experience where he had a lot of comments about, you know, different substances substances he's taken uh, playing games such as Percocet. And he also talked about his uh, choice words with when he was asked about did he or did he not get the, the COVID vaccine, which back then he said that he was, quote, immunized, which the media kind of just said, okay, that sort of means va- vaccinated. And they ended up getting COVID uh, towards the end of the year. And it turns out he wasn't actually vaccinated. So people are coming out that he lied about it. So what's your reaction to what... what, Well, immunized doesn't mean that he lied about it. Well, he he was asked if he's vaccinated. and He said, said, I'm I'm immunized. immunized Then he didn't lie about it. Well, he did because it's not... He did not get the vaccine to be vaccinated from it. He was. I have no was, idea. Quote, Why didn't he get a, a he, COVID vaccine? He, because he's allergic to one of the things in the like the, the active ingredient in oh, the yeah. COVID vaccine. But th- this was his quote when he when he talked about his his choice words of immunization. He said he was uh, he went through a process of immunization through a holistic doctor. Well, that that's like voodoo medicine. Yeah. 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 The, 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 Rogers recently has been doing through a lot of voodoo. He's done a, a cleansing. He's done the 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 psychedelic tea, arawaska, or whatever the hell the drug is. He came out. He was on several games of Percocet. He was high on Percocet or whatever to fight through pain. Uh, but he he was apparently he said that he wasn't so high on Percocet that he actually felt the trippy effects from it. It was just to deal with pain. Um, so. Aaron Rodgers is, has been a questionable individual for the past few years. He wants to be. Yeah. Yeah. This is part of his uh, shtick. Yeah. He he wants to be somebody who's considered a little off the, you know, he's kind of counter culture and, uh, you know, controversial. He wants to be like that. Right. Yeah. Well, a, a main reason why he didn't strip answer the question of, yes, I am vaccinated or no, I'm vaccinated, but I'm immunized is because he didn't agree with the NFL's COVID policy. So instead of, you know, saying, no, I'm not vaccinated or yes, I am vaccinated. But in this case, he wasn't. He was immunized, which doesn't mean you actually are vaccinated from the COVID virus. He, just, he didn't, you know, he didn't really know whether he was immunized or not. Hey, How would he know? Hey, it's, it's did a, he get it's a, tested it's a, for antibodies? It's a holistic uh, doctor, Dad. Yeah, but, but the holistic doctor said, "Okay, <laughs> you're immunized." How would anyone know whether they're immunized or not? Right? You should have gone and got an antibody test well, just for COVID. Well, clearly, it didn't said, work. That would that would uh, tell you whether uh, you have, uh, you know, you you have an immunization against uh, the coronavirus. Well, clearly, and it didn't work because he, he got COVID. He got COVID. He got yeah. COVID. And that, that's a mistake on his part because, uh, you know, the team's counting on him. Right. He's the quarterback of the team, supposed right. to be a leader, and uh, he should have uh, he should have gotten the vaccine. Well, I think the reason why a lot of the people in the media and a lot of individuals have a problem with, you know, the fact calling him he's a liar is because he, I, th- I, I assume he knew and he should have known that immunization does not mean you're vaccinated under the NFL's eyes. You still had to be masked up because you were not vaccinated. You still have to be... Va- he has to be masked up a- everywhere. Um, he, he he needs to be va- uh, masked up in the locker room, on the sidelines, everywhere you are around players because you were in danger to them as well as yourself because you were not fully vaccinated. But Aaron Rodgers knew this, still went against the NFL's eyes. No one cared to you know, double question him about it because he said, I'm immunized, and everyone seemed to be cool with that. But then when he got COVID... Everyone's like, you're not vaccinated. You yeah, did not well, get the vaccine. Obvious. Yeah. So, Rogers recently has been, you know, he missed a couple of games too, right? Yeah. yeah. That was the uh, the Jordan Love experience. And that was terrible, right? Did I'm, they I, they but, lose those games? Yeah. No, I, I, he lost that game, and if I'm not mistaken, um, I believe Patrick Mahomes was also out of that game because it was it was absurdly close. Uh. I want to find that game, actually. It was close because of the defense, because I watched some of that game, and Love played awful. <laughs> yeah, no. It, it, <laughs> it played it, awful. It, it was bad. Let's see. Was it 2021? Yeah, it was 13-7, to and Patrick Mahomes did play, and Mahomes didn't have a good game at all. <laughs> he, uh, 166 yards, one touchdown, almost 50% completion percentage. Jordan Love... He was almost 50% uh, percent completion percentage as well. He threw a touchdown, another in, a, a, a interception, not another interception, and actually 
outgained Patrick Mahomes on yards. So there was a chance that Jordan Love in his first start could have beaten Patrick Mahomes. Which that would that would have been something. Yeah, well, if he if he'd even played respectably, he probably would have won. Oh, that, it was thirteen to seven, right? That game he just played team. awful. Yeah. If he'd played even respectably, just just managed the, the game, he would have won the game. Right. Right. Yeah. So Well, the, the the last touchdown came in the fourth quarter. So it took him three quarters just to score a singular yeah. touchdown. I saw that game. I watched that game. I, I couldn't watch it. It was so boring. I know, it was boring. It's terrible. It came with four fifty four left in the fourth quarter. Yeah. So it was, it was, it was a mess. It was absolute that that game that entire game was just a mess. Yeah. Well, won't be long before the season starts. We got about another week or yeah. so. So we it. have to do our picks. We will for the season and also for the first uh, week of the season. Those right. games, the point spread's probably not out there yet, right? Oh, there, right. There's there's uh well let's just um I doubt there is. But we'll we'll see. There there okay no there are opening lines, yeah there are opening lines. We'll we'll do so that. What are the opening lines right now? You, you want to get to it now? I'm not I'm not just just for the, as we wrap uh, up here. Well, we don't have to make any picks, but I'd just like to know what the opening the lines. The Bills are. Rams is Bills minus two and a half. Where's the game played? Uh, at Rams. Ooh, at Rams. And they've got the and they have the Bills favored. Yeah, I don't believe. Wow. That. Um, Saints are Saints are minus five at Falcons. Who is Saints? Saints. Okay. Forty uh, ers are minus seven against the Bears. That's a yeah. given. Bengals are favored minus six versus the Steelers. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Is this? Oh, here we go. Eagles are minus four at Lions. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Dolphins are minus three versus Patriots. I don't believe that one. I do. Uh, Ravens are minus seven at Jets. That's interesting. Um, the Rams are playing the Jets. Ravens, the Ravens, oh, Ravens, Ravens. Sorry, Ravens. Uh, Commanders are minus three versus Jaguars. Panthers are minus two versus Browns. That 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 points, but actually went up since the last time I checked it. Which that's is, the Panthers, right? Yeah, Panthers, Panthers against yeah. the Browns. Yeah. Uh, Colts are minus the, the eight. Pan, the Texas. Browns are uh, the Panthers are favored. Yeah, minus two. Yeah. 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 Um, let's see what else <laughs> we got here. Uh, Colts are minus eight against uh, at Houston. That's a given. Yeah. Titans are minus six versus the Giants. That's also a yeah. given. This is some. I'm a little bit shocked by this actually. Packers are minus two at Vikings. That, that, I'm, I'm, I'm picking the the Vikings plus. Yeah. Two. I'm picking the Vikings plus two on that. Well, you one. have the Vikings winning like thirteen, 13 games, games this yeah. year. Yeah, yeah, I do. Um, I I might have changed the amount of wins I have, but um, yeah. Uh, no, regardless, if the Packers are minus two, I'm taking the Vikings plus two. A thousand, but that 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 you know what that's gonna be that's gonna be a Harvey hot hand right there. I'm 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 making this announcement right now. We aren't even ready to do this. My Harvey hot hand. I'm picking the Vikings plus two over the Packers. Yeah. Um, Chiefs are minus three and a half over the or at Cardinals. Uh, Chargers are minus three versus the Raiders. Buccaneers are only one minus one and a half at Cowboys on I believe this is Sunday Night Football. Uh, Broncos are minus six at Seahawks. And that's mm -hmm. the rest of the games. For I'd say most one. of them, I agree. I think are seem pretty uh, accurate, except I don't. Uh, think you don't trust Patri the Dolphins one. I, I think that's going to be my hot hand. I'm uh, you're going to be the, the Patriots, Patriots plus three to, to win that Ooh. game. Ooh. Uh, I, I, I don't know about that one. Let's say one in, in Miami. One of these times they're going to do it, and this is the time. How many times? Because they lost last year in Miami. They haven't won in Miami in years. Yeah. It's been a long time. Yeah. I think Brady lost to Fitzpatrick in what 2019. Yeah, then they had some that game where the, in the last play of the game they lateraled it down the field and Gronk couldn't make the tackle at the end. Yeah, the, that the, was the like Maya, was it the Miami miracle. They had the game won and they they blew it on the last play. Right. Jay, so they're due. They're due to win a game down there. This is the year. Right. Yeah.